Yes, you are say if you are not bothered about this, me I am because I need to get more information concerning this thing that uh, I saw on uh, Dangote that uh, it goes like this Dangote refinery gets five million barrels of crude oil from United States. When I saw it, I say what? Does it mean that uh, our own crude oil cannot service Dangote's new refinery? Or is it that um, the refinery is so big that um, the crude oil cannot uh, provide enough uh, raw materials to be refined? And uh, don't forget that uh, Nigeria is uh, above United States in terms of uh, crude oil production and uh, from the information that uh, we are getting united states is number eight in the world that's its largest crude oil producer in the whole world why nigeria is the seventh crude oil producer in the whole world and uh, number one in africa So viewers, uh, let's hear this coming from uh, one of our dailies, the cable. It says uh, Dangote has purchased 5 million barrels of U.S. crude oil scheduled for delivery next month and uh, in September. Ha. When I saw this thing, ha. I almost got goose pimples on my body. I say what? What is happening? That's why this present government of uh, Tinubu, I can guess the difficulties this government is passing through in a Nigeria affair. Oh, there is so much hope that uh, when this refinery start working, that is going to give a very big relief you know for all crude oil processing in nigeria but uh, what we are hearing is quite surprising that um, the only products that we export and we can beat our chest to export which is the uh, natural resources that we cannot even supply it to a company in Nigeria. Man, we need explanations, very serious and uh, detailed explanation concerning what is happening in this country. So let's hear from the details of this, um, um, what I've just said. Dangote Refinery has purchased 5 million barrels of US crude, crude scheduled for delivery next month and in September. That is coming from uh, Bloomberg reports let's proceed according to the reports on july 11th the refining com company also started a tender process in which it intends to buy a further six million barrels of american crude for september dangote refinery according to the report has bought more than 16 million barrels of West Texas Intermediate Crude Oil so far this year. In August and September, the proportion it will purchase from the U.S. may increase according to tenders for new supply seen by Bloomberg. For Nigeria and Dakota, the use of U.S. crude likely reflects where there are spare barrels available to buy in the world and the most competitive price the report reads. Um, uh, I just want to react to this thing I've just uh, you know, told you guys based on uh, where there are competitive prices and where the crude oil is available. This Dangote refinery has been under construction 
for a while now so it's not something that started today and they know he's going to get supply from nigeria so why saying that uh, where it is available what happened to the crude oil what really happened to the crude oil is not uh, well clear to me and uh, i know some other people are in this uh, picture then another thing is that at what competitive price are they saying that u.s sells uh, crude oil cheaper than nigeria so this actually means that um, this transportation from u.s to nigeria is going to add up to the price of this crude oil well um the aim of uh, building dangote refinery somehow is being threatened something is wrong with uh, the system honestly speaking when it comes to anything crude oil petroleum in this country this is a major breakthrough and this breakthrough is being threatened also so there is something they are not telling us we need to know honestly speaking and uh, probably one day we will all know these things that we have not known for a long time well let's proceed the refinery has been built as a way of helping nigeria win itself of foreign fuel supplies the refinery near lagos mostly runs on local crude supplies that can reach the plant from offshore terminals in as little as a couple of days the report said tracking data indicates that the refinery took in more than 41 million barrels of feedback or fair feed stock in the first half of the year as a complete test runs and gradually raise processing rates about a quarter of that has been american supply according to bloomberg with the latest purchase bloomberg said the inflow of american feed stock may increase significantly in may the refinery planned a purchase of 24 million barrels of crude from the U.S. for over a year. That is what the report said. Yes, viewers said to me, this uh, article on Dangote importation of uh, U.S. crude oil is a kind of uh, laughing stock to me you know it shows a whole lot of things it has revealed a whole lot of things concerning um, the management of uh, nigeria of course this thing is not what happened now like i said earlier these things shows what this present government is passing through concerning the management of this country if such thing like this could be very visible and open <laughs> then i don't know where we are heading to honestly speaking but before we wrap it up let's hear what this man has to say concerning libya libya is one of the greatest oil producer in africa and um, what was happening in libya before katakata entered libya just let's listen to him thank you they killed him because listen to me real good you touched my nerve with that question did you know that in libya nobody's homeless listen Everybody in Libya has either a home or an apartment, they call it a flat. Did you know education in Libya is free from kindergarten through college? And did you know 
that if a Libyan wanted to come to America to be educated, the government in Libya paid for their education. Did you know that? I was there when he opened a $500 million hospital with 18 uh, theaters for operation. I was there and we went when he was making their own medicines. See? Misty. This was a man that gave free medical attention to all the citizens of Libya. And if Libya did not offer that kind of medical attention, they could fly anywhere in the world and get it. And the Libyan government would pay for it. Did you know that? No, you didn't. Did you know that from the oil money, every Libyan citizen got a stipend every year? And did you know that that man had no debt? Everything in his country was paid for. See? Now when you got a man that did that for an African nation and was trying to do that for all Africa, how do you think Europe felt about that? Well, I was with Muammar Gaddafi when Gaddafi insert in 1999 advanced coming out of the OAU to the African Union with a vision of the United States of Africa. Muammar Gaddafi spent, listen to me, Billions of dollars to create the African Union. Yes, you as I wanted you to watch that video to know if uh, the type of uh, crude oil Libya is producing is different from the type that uh, Nigeria is producing. Well, that is a word for a wise. Until I come your way next time, I'm still Chinedo.